She's back. Stop fiddling with your shoes. I know. We're back. We're on I the know. Telly. I see me feel all like, <laughs> like oh, I've got to sit up straight and look smart. Oh, Steph, it's so nice back. to see you. Thank you. It was lovely to see you. Why, why are you here then? I'm I'm here, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so lovely to have you back. First Just of all, around, we want to do an official goodbye, and Aww. also you're here to talk about your new program, which yeah. is how to help us all to eat better, eat yeah. better, isn't it? Yeah, it's all about trying to just help people, give them ideas for things that can improve uh, mental health or your fitness or your diet, and not just the kind of typical things we all hear like eat five a day or make sure you get exercise it's the kind of quirkier things you might not know like singing can help to relieve pain so we go to like a garden center and get all the people there to sing together and see what different it's, it makes to them taking painkillers and stuff and then i have to do things as well and obviously this was when i was with you guys uh filming and you know i i have to go through all these different things too to try and improve my health which was quite a journey. I remember you drinking some fermented stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. because I've got dodgy guts, basically, so uh, without going into too much detail... Lovely. Which morning, I do on morning, the... Morning, everyone. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> You'll she, she does in the programme, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do, I know, I, yeah. I go into far too much detail. But, um, so, I have problems with my bowels, blah, blah, and so uh, I get analysed and find out that, actually, I'm in, like, the worst 20% of the population for my gut health, and it's because of my diet. So, even though I'm not eating loads all the time, when I do eat, I'm just not eating grace. The clue might be in the snacks, so let's have a look. <laughs> We've got a clip uh, here of you at Hugh Fernley Whittenstall uh, debating road trip snacks. Okay, if you're going to have a bag of mustard, on. now I've got this. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's so good. I do not have a healthy life. You know, I work ridiculous hours. Quite regularly, I will have crisps for breakfast. I'm 20 years older than Steph. You know, 20 years closer to death. So I, I don't think it's surprising that I'm interested in my health. I get mistaken for being pregnant quite a lot as well. I'm just fat, man. I've just got a belly. Do you know what, Steph? Oh, what have you got in there? I don't I just struggle think. with apples. <laughs> Did you learn a lot? This yeah, program? oh, I learned loads because especially with the gut health because it, it, what I learned was all these things you can do that don't massively involve changing your life because I'm not a cook. I'm not someone yeah. who's going to go home and cook all these amazing vegetables and things. <clears throat> so I had like, um, I got introduced to this fermented products so like kombucha and kefir. You might have started noticing them in the supermarkets now because they're becoming quite popular and it's got all these live bacteria. So basically my bacteria in my gut wasn't very diverse and and, uh, you know, true to society now, I've improved my diversity. And it's made a massive difference. <laughs> it's incredible. Do you feel better? Yeah, definitely. And, I, and when we filmed that part of the show, I wasn't pregnant. I know, so... I know, because it's quite... I've watched it and, it, and yeah, so you, did, you, you were pregnant yeah. during the other parts of the show, weren't yeah. you? Yeah. It has, it's changed you. Yeah, it definitely has, because I'm, I'm still doing it now. And also, it was great in the run-up to becoming pregnant, yes. getting healthy. Cool. And so then that helped with the pregnancy. Mm. So that, that made a big difference. Well, we were saying earlier on, we've had loads of messages about you coming back on today. Um, eight years you're on breakfast. Yeah. Eight years. Seems like a long time, doesn't it? I know. Um, and we haven't really had a chance to say a proper goodbye. No, because you went away. I just ran off. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ran away from us. It. So, uh, if you don't mind, uh, have yeah. a look at the screen. We'll show some of uh, the oh, best no. bits that we've picked of your right, time okay. on the show. Have a look. <laughs> now, though, we're going to uh, welcome Steph McGovern to the programme. Thanks very much. Our uh, business editor for the day, or presenter for the day. Um, I've been promoted already. Yeah. It's Robert a good Pattinson's day. Out of a Thanks job. for that. Uh, <laughs> this is your Titanic moment, yeah. Steph. Okay. Take it away. Well, the dancing bit anyway. Uh, I'm going I'm to kick off my shoes for this. Here we go. Morning from Warwick Castle, where I'm hanging out with a couple of knights and the breakfast bussy van for the last day ahead of the election. On the trampoline, Steph. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh my God! Can you get in? Yeah, come on, Steph. Yeah. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Yeah. <laughs> Not many. Oh, Steph, brilliant. <laughs> is my hometown, Middlesbrough. And I know loads of you know this because I bang on about it all the time on the telly. I'm really proud to be from here. 
It's given me my accent, a great education, and some of my happiest memories. Good morning to you. Morning, everyone. Absolutely glorious morning here in Coventry. And as you say, I'm on a construction site because construction plays an important part of our economy. So it has been so much fun learning how to do this. And they go, ah! <laughs> Yeah, it does. <laughs> but if you keep moving, I found that if I dance with them, it kind of works all right. Are you proud to be from Middlesbrough? Yeah. Do you think you can do just as well as anybody else in the country? Yeah. yeah. Good, because you can. <laughs> yeah. Steph McGovern, BBC News, Middlesbrough. Oh, we didn't mean oh. to make you <laughs> cry. I know, I'm totally, right? I didn't totally didn't expect to cry, but there we are. We had a uh, laugh, didn't we? Oh, it's been brilliant. And do you know what? I love the family here, the team behind the scenes who work day and night to make us look good. And, you know, all the crew and everything who make us look good as well. And we couldn't do it without them. And we I brought, kind of... We brought the family together. Yay! Especially for you today. Come on, in they come. <laughs> Alan Carroll are going to come in as well. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. We've got that with gifts. <laughs> yeah, where's the baby? <laughs> Who's looking after the baby? <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry. Someone very <laughs> sensible. What have you got? Got a little, couple, couple of little baby gifts for you. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Baby, so I love it. I'm yeah. disappointed you're not here in high vis today, really. Hard, hard hat, <laughs> visor. I know, that... that's the most common thing people say to me. Oh, I don't recognise you without your hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that one's not for whatever. you. <laughs> I love it. Oh, Steph, thank you so much. Actually, you look amazing. She? Yes. Well, Having I do. babies suits you. I think it was because, obviously, being pregnant, you can't drink for a start. So uh, <laughs> that was really help, yeah. 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 And, and then, used to the lack of sleep. Yeah. Yes. Used well, that's the, the thing. Start. I think I see more of you guys now sitting at home <laughs> with the baby feeding her, and then I'm watching you. And you know, that's really nice to still be. I'm glad you're on telly, so I still get to see you. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've had some special messages sent in. Let's have a look at this one first. I am Stephanie Gumbel's greatest super fan. Uh, not only is she a superb broadcaster, but she was a brilliant producer and she stopped me humiliating myself many times when she worked with me at the BBC. She's also kept my deepest, darkest, most miserable secret uh, for many years. Frankly, she should be the next Director General of the BBC. <laughs> Agreed. There you go, fancy yeah. that job. Uh, <laughs> so you used, yeah. to work, you used to work with Robert, yeah, of course. Yeah, I did, yeah. And um, a familiar face to you and to many, many of our viewers as well. Um, Bill Turnbull wanted oh, to say you this as well. Oh, Bill, I love Bill. Hi, Steph. Bill Turnbull here. I remember your first day on the sofa. You were such a shy, retiring wallflower, and you haven't changed a bit. We always knew you had star quality. You're going to do great things, and I wish you all the very best. Oh, I remember one of my funniest things with Bill was when I first started, and we had this row over the word poor, like how to oh. say it. And he was like, you know, I know you've got an accent, but you, maybe you should say poor, like we say. And I was like, I'm absolutely not saying poor because I'll never be allowed back in Middlesbrough again. <laughs> and like, you know, in a lovely way, he said it. He was so kind to me at the beginning. So I remember your yeah. first day as well, Steph, when you came on set in your green dress. Yeah, <laughs> your long blonde bob. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I know I'd gone out and got a dress like, from a, a high street shop thinking, oh, they look really cool, and then sat on the sofa and thought, oh, my God, it looks really short. And, <laughs> yeah. and you wrote me a brilliant note. Do you remember? You probably don't remember, but you wrote me a lovely note saying, well done. And I was like, wow, Carol Cook. <laughs> <laughs> and now, look now at I can't you. get a shot of you. <laughs> there all the time. There's a, you talk about the glamour of TV, but you talk yeah. about the high vis. You've had your hair in, in hair necks yeah, most hair of the next. time. You've been yeah. on, you know, doing outside broadcast. Here you oh, are. Look yeah. at your best. In I know, dough factory. I, do you know what though? Those are my favourite things because a, I've, you know, it's been a real privilege to go around and visit so many fantastic businesses. But also, What's not have to worry. <laughs> That's a sausage factory, I think, isn't it? No, it's a. What it's is dough, it? I think. Oh, it's dough, isn't it? Yeah, not sausage meat. And um, yeah, it's been the privilege of going around and seeing all these fab businesses. But also, just not thinking about what to wear that morning because mm. I know I'm going to be in a high vis and hair. Oh, and I'm no, like, very good oh, point. Brilliant. I don't have to worry about my clothes. I'm going to ask these two questions. The baby's outside, what yeah. do you like? She's gorgeous, gorgeous. She's, and you can't steal her. 
She's ours. Is she going to run away? Is she still yeah. asleep? Yeah, she's yeah. fast asleep. Right. She's she totally fine. Feeding and I'm like, no, 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 no. She's. Uh, I don't know what's happened, but I think all the excitement's knocked her out. She's really Although calm and peaceful. We have been trying to wake her up, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. Come on, a, wake up, baby. You have. <laughs> Has it been a complete and utter change of change of life? Yeah, you loved it. Yeah, I, this this program, working on this program, definitely prepares you for the hours that you do. So when you know she wakes me up at three a.m., I'm kind of it's used nothing, to that. Is it? But it's the it's like you're living with a tiny dictator. So yes. everything you know in your life is just ruled by this little creature. And uh, also nothing's clean anymore. I've noticed you've got oh, that baby yogurt on your sleeve. I know, well that's it. Honestly, I, I, you, you kind of think you look all right and then the next minute you're like, oh, there we are, there's a bit of sick. Oh. But no, oh. she's fab and I'm really lucky. So, um, yeah, but I have a newfound respect for parents, definitely. You know, I, I look at them now and think, wow, you look so together. When will I be like that? <laughs> you are together. Well, you're really together. Great. Yeah. It's so nice to see you back on the sofa. When's your programme on, the new programme? Uh, so with you, it's on tonight at Wednesday. Uh, yeah, it's Wednesday, isn't it? Yes. I don't even know what yeah. day it is. <laughs> <laughs> Eight o'clock, BBC One. Yeah. And good luck with so your that. new one on Channel yeah. 4 whenever yeah. that starts. Good, yeah, so that's going to be uh, later on in the year uh, doing my show, this deaf show. Might have a show named after me, but there we are. Look You've at that. Made it, it means eh? I can never have a day off. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, no, and you. thank you so much. Like, I, you know, I love you guys to the bottom of my heart. Thank and you. And we love my, my team and family and everyone who makes this, puts this show together as well. Thank you. And thanks to the viewers as well who actually keep us here. Making us over run now. We've got to go. Know, sorry. We've got to go I'm to Rick. Go, go, go. She's not wearing an earpiece. She's I know. Just I'm That's it from us today. Thank you, Steph. Thank you all. And right now it's time for Rip Off Britain. See